Here's a quick drill to fix a common mistake with the kettlebell dead clean and the kettlebell dead snatch that I use with my online students to teach them how to prevent that mistake from happening, how to fix it. So the common mistake is bending the elbow before extending. So at the bottom, that elbow is already bent and then they lift and the knees are still flexed, the hips is still flexed and the elbow starts to flex as well, right there. So a dead clean and a dead snatch is a squat movement and it's a pull with the legs. So you're pulling with the legs. What are you doing when you start bending right here? You're putting all the load on your muscles here. So on the tendons, especially when you're doing an explosive movement, it is not a good thing to do. And it's a major cause for tendonitis as well, as described in the book, Preventing Kettlebell Training Injuries by Caveman Training, available on cavemantraining.com and amazon.com. Tendonitis, especially in the elbow, is a very common cause with kettlebell training. It can be avoided. If you want to avoid it, make sure to check out that book or courses as well that cover this on caveman training. Back to it. So, the dead clean is a pull. If you're pulling with your legs, you want to keep this arm straight. So the drill that I use is a squat deadlift. You're making the same movement as you would be with a dead clean. So here's an explosive dead clean. Here's an explosive dead snatch. On our channel, we have many slow motion videos that cover the dead clean and the dead snatch. I recommend you check them out. Back to the drill. The drill is, again, a squat movement, the same movement you're making with your dead clean and with your dead snatch. But you're lifting slowly and you're keeping that elbow extended. You're deadlifting the weight. So you do that several times and then you do the actual explosive lift. So, Deadlift with a squat movement, one, two, and then explosive, clean it. So you're teaching yourself to get used to that movement and how long you need to keep that elbow extended. Now, you're not keeping that elbow extended all the way to here, it bends a bit earlier, but the point is you are getting used to keeping it extended longer because you're trying to fix that point where you're already starting to bend here. So it looks like this. So basically you're curling the weight and especially when you're using a heavy weight, it's not good to go fast and put all that load on the tendons, especially when you're a beginner and not conditioned for it. One more time, side on. Squat, deadlift. Dead, clean. Dead, snatch. So, quick summary to fix bending that elbow early, dead lift a weight with the same movement. Do it several times, even three, four, five times, and then do your explosive dead clean or dead snatch. For more technique tips like this every week with new exercises and a new workout and even personalized coaching included, check out 
the caveman in a circle where we publish new workouts every week and there's over 150 workouts in the library that you can access cardio strength flexibility mobility endurance and so on each workout has technique covered alternatives and progressions warm-up technique uh, workout technique follow along warm-up follow along workout programming common mistakes and the list goes on all these videos are separate so you can decide hey i don't want to watch the common mistakes i don't want to do the uh, warm-up i just want to go straight into the workout you can do that it's all separated make sure you check us out there check the link below see you there